Hello, I'm BX Toycat, and welcome back to another video. As you might already know, Title Update 25 did just release the date on all consoles, which means you can go ahead and download it now. And although it's not the update a lot of people were expecting, with new biomes, new mobs, all this sort of stuff, it is actually a pretty cool update for builders in particular, because it did bring with it a bunch of new building blocks, like dozens of new building blocks, as well as a few other cool features that I figured it would be cool to just show off in one video and show you all of these features. So please do like the video if you do like it, it helps out the channel a lot, and lets me know you do like it. I have actually found quite a few secrets in this update already, so yeah, like it and uh, let me know if you want to see that sort of stuff in the comments. But yeah, let's get straight into this video, shall we? And let's start with probably the biggest one, which was technically in the game already, but not available in Creative or Survival, and that is Stained Glass. So Stained Glass is this block right here, and as you can see, it's it's a pretty cool block. It's glass, but it has color to it. It's very, very good if you're doing decorative stuff, because you can use this to make really cool churches, you know, that's the literal definition of Stained Glass, but you can do so many other cool things with the Stained Glass, and just looking at it, it's very colorful, very nice look at. I think it's pretty great. So yeah, that is uh, stained glass and stained glass panes. These are uh, pa panes right here and these are stained glass. So two pretty simple features, you know, recolors of glass, but still very nice for building, uh, like I mentioned. So uh, yeah, that's uh, recolored glass. 16 colors of stained glass, 16 colors of stained glass panes for 32 new blocks right there already. Uh, then we have the new types of fences and fence gates. So we have birch fences, we have spruce fences, uh, this is oak fence right here, and we have uh, the jungle fences. So these are pretty nice if you always wanted to have a jungle house of matching fences rather than having to switch to oak fences or you know a spruce house or something like that it is nice that they have all of these in the game and of course it paves the way for when acacia and dark oak come they'll have those here too so yeah six new blocks here three new types of fences three new types of fence gates you know that's uh, quadrupling the variety you have available and the same thing is true for the doors because there is now a extra three doors in the game there is this birch door right here uh, there is this spruce door right here and there is the jungle door right here so functionally speaking there is a tiny bit of difference between these and the default door because this gives you a way to see in the bottom part of the door. The default door doesn't let you do that. Uh, and these doors allow you to keep what's inside a secret. No one can see in or see out until they open it. Which, uh, you know, is something that some people could find desirable. So, yeah, new doors. Three of them to be precise. I think these are really, really nice to be passed up. Uh be entirely honest, uh, you know, they add another free uh, uh, feature to the game, but because of the fact that they can be used differently, they can fit different themes, I think it's nice, because currently there's one type of door and it's like, oh, yeah, there's, there's there's a door, but there's four. So that changed, and it's pretty nice. I, I meant currently as in previously. But yeah, so uh, let's show on to the next one. This one is technically on the change log, but everyone knew about it before. So I'm not going to count this as a secret feature personally. Uh, but as you might know, if you put uh, stained glass on beacons, it will, you know, give the cool light like that. Not on the uh, you know, not on the change log, but it is a cool thing you can do with it. You can make ugly colors like this weird brown I've got, or you can make uh, actually nice colors uh, by using something like pink or yellow. So you get, you know, just a bright, vibrant color, really because if you use the darker colors, you don't get nice. Let's uh, just quickly prove this. If you look at that, like that's that's not a nice beacon, but that's just my opinion, of course. Uh, you can have your... Oh, red, solid red looks pretty good. But yeah, there's a bunch of cool colors. Make sure you pick a strong color, not a weak one. But stained glass on beacons will give you colored beacons. Pretty cool if you ask me. Next up, we have iron trap doors. I think these kind of speak for themselves. If you want a trap door made out of iron, you can. Uh, I don't see many redstone contraptions I'll be using this in, but I'm sure there's at least one person out there that's like, Yeah, iron trap doors. Uh, that's... I can't... Uh, you know, what? I'm gonna... Yeah, I can't say that's me though. <laughs> uh, and then um, finally, uh, as far as blocks go, we have the inverted daylight sensor. So this is just a daylight, a daylight sensor. When you left trigger it, or, you know, whatever, yeah, left trigger on every device, uh, it will actually, you know, change from being a daylight sensor to a nighttime sensor. So uh, this means that instead of detecting day, it detects night essentially. And uh, yeah, it's pretty cool in that regard. So if you ever want to have something that only works at nighttime, instead of having to use an inverter, you can actually just have, you know, you can switch the game mode and make it like that. I think it's pretty cool personally. And uh, yeah, that is all of the new blocks so I as far as my counting went that was 40 something new blocks it is pretty as I said it's pretty great for new builders because of all the creative possibilities uh, the survival element of it is lacking because you know not too many of these help you in survival uh, these are purely decorative these are purely decorative these are mostly decorative this is mostly decorative and this is something you could kind of do before uh, this is purely decorative but still it's kind of nice so building blocks are definitely a decorative part of the game that, that much I've said like three times now but what isn't a decorative part of the game is all of this stuff you're seeing in the background. So, uh, I'm actually using a custom soup flat world right now. This is one of the cool features because it can be used to do so many cool things. Uh, this is a preset I just came up with out of nowhere. It's jungle wood, uh, then TNT, then stained glass, and then with as many abandoned mine shops as possible. So, uh, if we can actually fly up to that. By the way, I can set my own game mode to be separate from the default game mode. If we set our own game mode and uh, fly up to that, uh, then what you can actually see here is... Uh, 
you know, it's just abandoned mine shaft, abandoned mine shaft. You can do some cool stuff like this and just explore the whole thing at once. I think it's a cool enough possibility, uh, personally. I think uh, I I'll, you know, do some tutorials on how you exactly do this, but you can mess around with the custom soup flat and do some cool stuff. And also, like I said, it's jungle wood, but there's lakes in the jungle wood, and it gives you this really surreal world. It looks like a wasteland, to be honest, because, you know, there's not even dirt to grow on. It's just a pure wasteland. I, I, I think it's pretty cool. So, uh, kind of full outy almost. Here is a stronghold. You can actually uh, customize a number of these in your world, too. Another cool feature. So, I, I think that's probably the coolest feature in this update. It's worth showing off. Oh, one other technical, it's not a block, but it is another feature that isn't uh, just a, you know, a menu thing. It is the book and quilt. So, Wow, a little bit like that. As you can see, you can type in the book and quilt. I can just be like, uh, I'm, I'm not going to do all of it. But you can uh, then switch the pages and stuff. I don't know how you do that. But yeah, and then you sign it, and then uh, you, you sign a close, and you need to give it a title, which I'm not going to do right now. But yeah, that's the book and quilt. You can write to other players now. It's very, very useful because signs are not so great. But yeah, you can you can now use book and quilts. I think that's pretty cool. And finally, let's show you the host options, because there is a bucket load of these. Also, oh, manual crafting. Uh, you can manually craft anything you want to. So if you want to be like, I'm going to make my jungle planks into sticks, you can do that. And then if I had any more jungle planks, I'd make myself a hole or something. It's it's going to be fun. It's not going to be too useful most of the time. But there are some recipes that are much, much fast like that. And uh, I'm going to be doing a lot of testing. I'll do a whole video on manual crafting at some point. But there are a lot of cool benefits to it. Anyway, let's move on from that to uh, the host options. Like I said, you can, check, uh, you can set your own uh, spawn point. You can set your own game mode. Uh, and you can also... Set things like, uh, you know, set days, set night, so I can just be like, oh, it's nighttime now, oh, it's daytime now, you can do that like that. You can turn off daylight cycle separately to that, or you can make it so only you can change the day night. Uh, it's pretty cool in my opinion. We've also got being able to change the weather, I can make it thunder if I want to. Not that many people ever want to, but it means that you can permanently turn off the weather cycle if you want to, and that means that you can never, you never have to deal with anything that's not, uh, you, you never have to deal with it again, basically, which is very, very cool. If you don't like rain, you'd never have to deal with it, which is something I am such a big fan of. Uh, and then also, uh, yeah, that's uh, world spawn points, weather cycles, and you can also turn off ambient cave sounds, which I think is a, it's a, it's a small thing, but it's something you can do. But yeah, that's uh, that's all of the features in this update. Like I said, it's not the update we were expecting. It's pretty cool if you're a builder because you've got all these new building opportunities and it's pretty cool if you like your custom soup flats like me and manual crafting's gonna be nice but I really do think there's a bigger update on the horizon this isn't the last six months of work I don't think you can you can see this you know there's there's a lot of retextured blocks here there isn't six months of work here not I'm not trying to be offensive here, but there there is something coming uh, sneakily or otherwise I don't know what but yeah there's gonna be something uh, because they even showed us yesterday acacia doors and dark oak doors which aren't in the game now so I don't know if it's just gonna be like an update a month later to surprise us or something but yeah either way there's something coming besides this this is just you know kind of a building update I guess uh, but yeah let me know what you thought of the video have a like if you liked it share if you really liked it and subscribe if you're new around here let me know if you want to see the secret features in this update because like I mentioned I found a few and I'm gonna go looking for more all day to today and uh, yeah i guess i hope you enjoy the video like if you liked it I, I said all that stuff so uh subscribe if you're new around here i make videos like this every single day on my channel and i'll see you all in the next video thank you for watching and goodbye